Clara Edwards is one of those unheralded Mayberry citizens. We often remember that her homemade pickles won first place at the fair for years on end. Yet her character sometimes just kind of gets overlooked in the show. One has to realize that Clara appeared in more episodes, actually 31 of the show, than did Gomer Pyle, Emmett Clark, or Ernest T. Bass. She was known for wearing her floral prints and her pillbox hats. She taught piano. She played the organ in church. And she was known to belt out a tune every now and then. But the big thing we need not forget is that Clara was Aunt B's best friend. And we should sing her praises more often. She was born Sarah Hope Summers in June of 1896. She was actually born in Illinois, in Maltoon, Illinois. She was reared in both Illinois and in Walla Walla, Washington. She graduated from Northwestern School of Speech at Northwestern University in Evanston, Illinois, and she taught speech there. From there, she went on to become the head of the speech department at Bradley University in Peoria, Illinois. And we need to back up just a little bit and tell you a little bit about her father. Her father was a physician in Illinois. He was Dr. John W. Summers. Now, they moved when she was a teenager to Walla Walla, Washington in 1908, and her father continued to practice medicine there. Her father also grew fruit and engaged in other agricultural pursuits in the Walla Walla Valley. He also served as a member of the Washington State House of Representatives in 1917, and he was elected as a Republican to the 66th and 6th succeeding Congresses from March 4th, 1919 to March 3rd, 1933. Now, Hope was a regional actress who often performed in one-woman shows. She made her television debut in 1951 on the soap opera Hawkins Falls, which was broadcast from Chicago. She was past 50 when she actually came to Hollywood to begin her career as a character actor. She first attracted attention in 1958 in the semi-regular role of Hattie Denton on the Western series Rifleman that starred Chuck Connors. Then she guest starred in dozens of series, including Maverick, Wagon Train, Rescue 8, Peter Gunn, Dennis the Menace, Mr. Smith Goes to Washington, Hazel, Gunsmoke, The Danny Thomas Show, and it goes on and on and on. Most of the things she did was on the small screen. Television was her forte. Her film work was usually in quite small parts, often unbilled. But she is credited with one part where she played Miss Gilmore in Roman Polanski's classic film, Rosemary's Baby, in 1968. She played a member of the Witch's Coven. Now, when she played the part on the Andy Griffith show of Clara, she was Aunt B's best friend. But they were also considered rivals, too. They were rivals in cooking, gardening, and courtship. Clara's pickles are without competition, especially from Aunt B. However, Aunt B can make a run for Clara's roses, and sooner or later, every potential beau knows that both ladies have a sporting chance for his affections. The pickle story episode is one of the funniest ones of the entire series. Clara made every jar of her blue ribbon winning pickles as a loving tribute to her late husband. Aunt B's pickles were known to taste like kerosene, and what Andy, Barney, and Opie do to remedy the problem is set in television history. Perhaps it was the degree in speech and the experience in that field of speech that gave her such a distinctive voice. The same year that Hope made her debut on The Andy Griffith Show, a brand new pancake syrup hit the grocery store shelves. The glass bottle took the shape of a motherly woman wearing an apron. The early commercials boasted 
that that brand used three tons of butter each week to make their syrup. Of course, we're talking about Miss Butterworth, an icon of the American breakfast. In those original ads, the bottle did not speak. The animated syrup bottle you know and love was a later invention. And who was better to bring this sweet bottle to life than the warm and well-spoken voice of Hope Summers? She was the first voice of Miss Butterworth. You can hear her in the 1970s in a commercial with Kim Fields, who would later play Tootie on the Facts of Life. She was perfectly suited for the role. So it looks like two of the things that she's most remembered for are pancake syrup and pickles. She acted up until 1978, a year before her death from congestive heart failure. She died at 83 in Woodland Hills, Los Angeles, California. She's interred at the Mountain View Cemetery in Walla Walla, Washington, in the Masonic section. Now, this is a family plot. Her parents are buried there, but there are some real discrepancies in her tombstone. Uh, This tombstone that is there is her, but the dates are all messed up. It, It shows her passing away at a different date than she really did. It's not possible for her to have passed away in 1977 because there are movies that she made after that. So I don't know what happened. I don't know how it got so screwed up. There are some definite mess-ups in the details of her death and I think even her birth date. Thank you so much, Sarah Hope Summers, for the last that you gave us on The Andy Griffith Show and on Mayberry RFD portraying Clara Edwards. Rest in peace. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll keep chasing the classics.